Hey there, Signs of Scorpio. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for the next coming week. And I have that being the 20th through the 26th, Sunday through Saturday. So let's get a start on this. Uh, thank you so much for your likes, shares, comments, subscribe, Scorpio. I am offering private readings for donations for a limited time. Check out the box below for that information. And I think what we're going to do is get started with, oddly enough, the tarot first. And then I want to do oracle cards with bringing back the tea leaves for the endings, okay? So let's get started on this for our Scorpios. Please, spirit, spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Let's get some messages for Scorpio. That's always to move them forward for their highest good. Okay, clear and concise, please, Spirit. General messages, meaning they can be applied to whatever you need them to be applied to. Okay, Scorpio, what do we have for them? What is the issue? Ooh, for Scorpio, goodness. There's the issue. Oh, you would have to be a difficult reading. <laughs> Actually, it'll be exciting. So, tower moments. Tower moments shake things up. Tower moments are necessary in life because... Sometimes we wouldn't move if we didn't have a tower moment, and that's just the truth of it. So, yeah, there might be a tower moment. It may be something you weren't too fond of because it was a big change. And big change maybe in a short amount of time, too. Big change. Something sudden. It's ushering in a new chapter here, which is great. This is something big and happy. The challenge here, what will end this from lasting so long? As if you can get over your regrets, your losses. It's like, chuck up your losses to this is a new time. This is a new adventure. Let the feelings flow with the river and go with it. You can't hold on to regrets and um, negative or heavy emotions and expect to make room for something really positive. So clinging to the past, that's something that you need to take a really hard look at. Are you clinging to the past? Is the root or at the base of this? You're tired of feeling like there was nothing that you could do. Now, at least there's something coming to light about what you can do about this situation. I feel like at the root of everything is an answer that you just instinctively know. And maybe you have known. And maybe you've known that this would come anyway. Maybe it was something kind of expected. Um, nonetheless, still kind of shocking and abrupt. But it, it may have been like part of this was a solution to you. Okay, past energy, walking away, walking away, maybe half of you, half of you not. Try. It could be trying to emotionally detach from something and not being able to. Um, I also see that with the Eight of Cups here. You could physically be moving. Um, your Ninth Cup is up here in the sky in the other deck in the Morgan Greer. So I feel like this person is moving passionately towards um, a journey in which they think their ninth cup is somewhere out there. All right, let's look at the present energy for Scorpios. Present energy for Scorpio. Okay, that was a good card though. I didn't like flipping that over, but you know. Wow, guys, nine, nine, both in the reverse. There's a big need. There's something that you're resisting letting go of because the, the nines, like the life path, for example, it's a, it's a lot about um, serving others, doing things for humanitarian uh, reasons and, and definitely letting go of, yeah, I feel like this is letting go of some insecurities some regrets, maybe a loss. Um, maybe the morning time is like you're, you should you should be getting out of mourning and maybe that's it. Like having to realize that you stopped pursuing something. And sometimes things are tower moments. The past energy is moving away from this. So it, it, you've dealt with this. This is something that you need to let go of now. You've processed something. Okay, what is the near future energy for Scorpio? The 
Near future energy. Changing your dreams up. When you finally let go of this, you're going to end up changing some things that you're wishing. Look, there's two, two things signifying changing what you were wanting. You are headed to, you are feeling like you're headed towards the Knight of Pentacles. You need something that's more stable than what this was in the past. You realize now that even some wishes were, quote, granted, that it, it was not what you thought it was going to be. And had you stuck in a particularly overwhelming, anxiety-ridden situation, you'll be happy to get out of this energy and into a new destined path or a new desire, new desire, new inspiration. Definitely, this is what you're wanting. Maybe you're feeling steady, slow but steady um, growth or progress. This may be in a business or a relationship. I mean, you know, I don't know. This could mean lots of things. Whatever it is that you're trying to uh, go forward on, you're you're liking the um, stability you're liking being able to depend on something or someone and you like the trustful, the trustworthiness of a situation. This may be um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly. It's usually an offer. It usually is a stable offer for, from something that just wasn't, you thought it was your dream, but it just wasn't as stable as you thought. Okay, so the environment situation in the environment. Look at that. Okay, so you are definitely trying to, um, I would say, go back to fix something. That might be in the energy around you is to go back. I don't know if you're going to go back, tell you the truth. I don't think you are. Because I, I see the Wheel of Fortune here for you in this uh surrounding energy but the thing about this wheel of fortune is that just because you're going to be at the top of the wheel doesn't mean that some of the things you've really wanted to put a lot of energy and drive into are working out there are some things that are not gaining momentum that you're going to end up stop pursuing because it was running nowhere it was going nowhere traveling nowhere this is the wheel of fortune though has come in to make things better to give you new possibilities new experiences to better your situation, your living, your human experience here. Could be Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. This could be Cancer. We have Aquarius and Scorpio again. So Scorpio, what's your hope and fear here? Hope and fear. Okay, so you hope to come out of the conflict. You hope to come out of feeling conflicted. And in a way, this is going to signify an ending for you. So there's a little bit of a resistance to this just because of what it's related to. Hmm. Interesting messages, different than what I usually get. What is the projected outcome? Should these energies be followed or um, just do just that? You will get peace. Oh my goodness, they look like divine counterparts, but they're not, but they look very similar. Even though there is a resistance to change here, it's only because you want to get back control. You want to gain control over your life. There's something that affected it that it might not have been something that you were prepared for, but um, it made you feel like you didn't have some kind of control. Okay, it might have to do with a partnership that just didn't work out. Okay, so something had to be made fair. Something was made fair after you gained control. You may have called this partnership quits or whatever that you were committed to quits. Um, this could be having trouble working with authorities because it could be a court situation. Like with justice, you may be waiting on something. There may be two parties not getting along. It could be a civil thing. Uh Let's see what else. Uh, definitely discipline, obedience um, will get you far. Not necessarily allegiance to something else. Allegiance to the truth and liberty and setting things through free. There is this ending that you know it and you intuitively know that something has to end. It's involved in the partnership. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Something has to end and you know that. 
there are more answers than you know, and they are inside. If you look inside, I feel like this is about consulting yourself instead of a partnership for your answers. You know the answer to something, and you know that something has to end. It's probably either a way of thinking that's ending, something that was very persistent on staying part of the will, the cycle. Odd messages for me. Um, this might be a Libra. This might be a Pisces. Secrets. Secrets. You holding the key to some secrets. Let's get, um, let's get clarifying so that I can understand this a little bit more. Wow. Okay. The Morgan Greer. I just cut it and it was on Justice and Queen of Pentacles. So, Justice. Big time. It looks like karma's spinning for you. So if this is justice about a karmic situation, something's going in your favor. Not all say, not all things that you thought had, would have consequences will still have the same consequences in the future because things are altered with every decision, every choice. There's that Leo energy of the sun. There's also guidance from divine with that illumination, lighting something up that... Lighting something up, bringing it to the surface of what didn't work out. Wow. Ace of Pentacles wanting to fall out here. Some big kind of opportunity. Okay. All right. Let's, let's look further. Let's get a um, clarification on this outcome, please, Spirit. Clarification on this outcome. Again. You have two of those. So maybe that's in the present situation too. Ooh. Okay. For some of you. Wow. All right. For some of you, there is going to be a brand new beginning and something really loving. There definitely is a brand new beginning in something to do with your pentacles something's going to be starting and it may right off the bat start to um look releasing of heartache comes with these aces here beautiful new beginning and something stable trustworthy responsible new beginning taking the place of what maybe it wasn't so great knight of pentacles don't lose patience on the knight of pentacles definitely this is like a sure thing here. It's slow and it's steady. Slow and it's steady. But this card is like you're carrying around this hurt. So you have to let go of that. We have seven of, oh, nice cards, guys. Seven of wands in the reverse. Guys, I think this is actually representing a time where the stress is released and and i feel like this is like coming out of a stressful time because we have some kind of financial gift or um thing coming to us it's going to be like a gift from the universe like a pentacle pentacle nine of pentacles lots of pentacle energy here the high priestess in reverse along with the high priestess in the upright So, okay, maybe there's something revealed here, or maybe you always knew it. It might have to do with authority and how things are being run. There's something that you know that maybe now other people know because of you. Uh, and I know, I think that's really specific to somebody um, or a few people, but the Empress is ruling with, with fear. It's not really a good way to rule over something. Um, dictating to people aries earth signs you pretty much have everything here you have king of cups which is a balancing out of the emotions things do have to be balanced out and we have balance with the justice because this whoever was taking control or dominating before they weren't doing a very great job it may have been an aries um we have queen of wands in reverse so this is being a little timid, not doing anything at the moment, not being really that daring. And that is why there is something that stood in the way that came in the way in the form of a tower. It shook things up in order to get you balanced. 
and to make things fair and to gain back control over yourself, whatever you lost from a partnership, you gain back and more. All right, those are the messages for Scorpio. I some of it is like cryptic as can be, so I don't I don't know about all those messages. I I think they will resonate with somebody out there or a group of people out there. Hope hopefully they will. Because I feel like it can apply, gosh, that justice can apply to so many things. But with the justice, the emperor, and king of swords, something has an authority or say so. 22, be aligned with yourself here. You are in possession of incredible creative powers, and it's assured you can achieve anything that you wish. Because you're aligned, 22. And 14, you're open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you're wise enough to stop um, and think before you jump into things. This is the pragmatic approach, and it helps ensure time and attention and efforts are meaningful. It says, I am practical here. All right, now, now I'm going to grab the Sacred Rebels Oracle. We're going to get one of these, and then we're going to go to tea leaves and wrap your reading up, Scorpio. Thanks for joining me. I really hope that you understand this. Good things coming, but guys, lots of change. Lots of change. And there's always some resistance out there. So sometimes the key is just finding out where the resistance is. Because most of the time, we don't really even know what our blocks are. Until we become awakened to these things. Pay attention to messages and signs like that. All right, from your angels, Ugh, totally. So this is aligned right here about creating anything you wish. And the spirals of manifestation, it, it's talking about the odd twists and turns that you go through to get from one point to another point. It's not quite so linear in the spiritual realm of how creations are done. Life is lived forward, but it's understood backward. And that's the best way to explain spirals of manifestation. The way that you're going to get somewhere might not be how you thought, but it's still going to get you there nonetheless. Okay, now we need some tea leaves and wrap your reading up, Scorpios. Good luck for Scorpio coming up. And it seems like your life is about to get very interesting if it isn't already. Hmm. What you're creating is slowly and steadily bringing you these pentacles that you're wanting. Kite is a vacation. Nice. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. <laughs> Could be an Aries. I don't know why I'm saying that. It, it doesn't have to be an Aries. Bird perched, waiting for news, package, or a letter. For your justice. Law, be careful and do not take risk. Might be why the Queen of Wands is in reverse. That might be advice from spirit. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have is probably in the um in that main main issue there. Uh, let's see what else, Scorpio. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. And tortoise, nice. I'm gonna leave it on the spiritual number seven. So, Tortoise is slowly but surely getting ahead. It's the Knight of Pentacle energy. Slowly, steadily, and you can depend on this. So, yes, you can depend on this Scorpio. Thank you all so much. Sending you lots of love and light. Bye, Scorpios.